Welcome back to Newswire here on Sports Grid. Big week with a lot of earnings calls going on. So Pat Evans doesn't really get a chance to see the sunlight as he's locked up listening. I know Matt Waters said he is yesterday. I'm sure, Pat, you are too. So uh, I guess that'll come out over the next couple of days, right? I mean, these earnings calls are always interesting to see how much the sports betting operators are making. But I know we're going to focus on other topics today, but I, I know that's in your future. Yeah, I mean, those every, you know, four times a year, we get these big earnings weeks, and it's actually a couple of weeks, really. And yeah, Matt and Sam mostly get to listen to all those calls, so our readers don't have to. So there's that. I'll listen to a few, but uh, right now we're we're in the final stretch of legislative season, and that's, uh, you know, yesterday was an incredibly busy day, which is a perfect reason why I'm here today. Yeah, and, and I would say that, of all of the states to have legalized sports betting, I think Mississippi is one of the most peculiar of all because they were first on board getting sports betting and they have it in the casinos there, you know, on the river and, and all of that. And it was like a huge deal at the time. And then several years later, for people who don't know, if, if you go to Mississippi, yes, you can bet on sports, but you have to be there in the casino in person. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the only state or, or one of the only states to have this happen, it's just so bizarre to me that they could legalize sports betting, basically saying it's okay, but they can't get this in order to have you be able to bet on your phone, on the apps and everything else. It, it, I, I am, if you would have told me this three years ago, Pat, I would have been shocked. I would have said they would have been first. I mean, really, I, you know, you're right. They were one of the first states to legalize sports betting in casinos, uh, which makes sense. They've got a pretty rich gambling history. But it's almost like they missed the boat on the statewide online sports betting, you know, that, that was the best time to do that right when they did it from the get go. Um, because now we're sitting here six years later, they launched sports betting in 2018, but you can't bet outside of casino properties. And, you know, last year we had a legislator come out. We've had it every year, pretty much, where a, a, a legislator proposes online sports betting. And it kind of just doesn't go anywhere. And, and last year, they turned it, one of these bills into a study, uh, and the legislators met all last fall. I think it was a couple, you know, four times that they came together and talked about the big issues, what was going to happen, what do we need to do. Uh, and that informed Rep Casey Ewer's bill this year, uh, and he came in, and it cruised through the House. Uh, you know, I think it was about 80, 85% of legislators, I don't know that right off the top of my head, so don't quote me with that. But mm -hmm. a huge margin of victory in the House. Yeah. Went to the Senate. They stripped everything out of the bill. And uh, they went to conference committee to try to work out whatever was the issue for the Senate. And it died because of a deadline that they didn't meet uh, on Monday. And so online sports betting, yet again, is dead in Mississippi um, so they'll have to wait at least another year uh, unless, you know, I've had one source suggest that there's a chance a, a lawmaker will go ahead and amend an existing bill that's still alive to include sports, online sports betting. And, and that would be one way they could still get it done. But, you know, we're working on a very short time frame. They adjourn on uh, uh, May 5th, which it's May 1st already somehow. And, and so yeah. they're running very short on time. And, you know, they're going to be at least seven years, basically, from launch of on or in-person sports betting to online sports betting. And that's if they can all get on the same page next year, which, again, has been a huge problem the last couple of years. Yeah, very strange that this just doesn't get done and they just keep talking about it. All right. At least we do have some definitive news on Alabama. I don't know how to interpret this, interpret this Pat. I mean, I, I guess, you know, I wasn't I'm not surprised to see that we're going to be talking about this because Alabama is not going to have sports betting legalized this year and doesn't look like next year either. But they did legalize a key part of some gambling in, in Alabama, which is just super rare. And it looks like it's, what are these, electronic games that they've legalized? <laughs> so very small progress maybe along those lines, but any progress is is kind of surprising in Alabama. I thought it would be a complete zero. I mean, Alabama is at this point is still one of five states without a lottery. And so any sort of gambling uh, issues was going to be a huge hurdle coming into this year. You know, we knew there was going to be a bill. We figured it would be on the Senate side, which has passed a comprehensive lottery bills that have included sports betting in the past. Um, but that wasn't the case. It ended up uh, in the House, which kind of seemed like a really good sign because they're the ones who let it die in the past. They used those Senate bills from the past to kind of formulate their view and they introduced and passed rather handedly a 
comprehensive lottery bill, again, that included full casino gaming and sports betting. And that went to the Senate, who, again, this bill was based on a Senate bill in the past that has passed. And the Senate changed quite a few things, stripping out casino gaming, stripping out sports betting. Um, and the House non-concurred. They went to a conference committee, which finally met last week, uh, or yesterday, sorry. And um, they, one of the first things they said, it was less than two minutes into the thing, is there's no sports betting in this. Uh, and so that was a definitive, that's done this year. Uh, they yeah. did end up, uh, you know, in the legislation, there is a lottery and um, slot machines or, or I guess games of chance on co computer devices is basically the language they used at seven locations in the state. Uh, it directs uh, Governor Kay Ivey to enter a compact negotiations with the Porsche Band of Creek Indians. So it's a huge step in gambling in uh, Alabama. However, no sports betting. Um, Senator Al Britton, who is a proponent from the Senate side, said this is a big step. You know, we got one thing done, so we pissed everybody off. But it's still a step in the right direction. So we'll see where it goes in the future. Maybe next year we see a sports betting bill. We'll see. It still has a little bit of a hurdle. Last night, the House approved that compromise. The Senate didn't quite. They failed by one vote. They have four legislative days done. I think they'll figure it out and get it done. Then it'll go to voters uh, in a special election in August. Um, and I, I would imagine they will they'll approve it as well. So at least Alabama seems like they're on the verge of having a lottery and some, uh, you know, slot machines in the state. All right, finally, let's cap it off here with the latest in Minnesota. Nothing closer to being legalized, but somewhat of a framework plan put in place, it looks like, Pat, here, if indeed it does ever get legalized, but some very strange, it looks like, restrictions and some, I would say, murkiness to this potential uh, idea that this representative has. Yeah, Minnesota's just kind of bouncing around. Um, they had a committee meeting in the House. Uh, it's been committed out, basically. They just keep going to different committees, kind of trying to figure out what can stick and what doesn't stick. And, um, you know, we're they're at a point where now Republicans are saying that it's not going to pass. And that's a huge step uh, in the negative for this bill because, um, you know, Coming into this session, you needed both parties, and if the Republicans are already writing it off, they have until May twentieth. It doesn't look good, and that's because you know we've had a couple developments. The tracks have come in, uh, or, or the tribes have said that the tracks can't have HHR machines, which the Gaming Commission said they could. Then you get the tracks suing a couple of the tribal casinos, so that's a huge issue. And then bogging it down even further on the Senate side, a, a Democratic senator was arrested last week. And she was stripped of her committee signs, but the Republicans wanted her to be stripped of her voting rights. That didn't happen. And so we had Republican uh, representatives yesterday saying this is a huge mess. Uh, and it just keeps getting more complicated and less and less likely to pass. So, uh, as you know, the last couple of years I've come in and said Minnesota is going to be the state to get it done. Right. And for a second straight year, I'm going to have to eat my words and, and maybe come in and say, <laughs> They'll get it done next year, but we'll see what happens. But so far, it doesn't seem good in Minnesota. Yeah, well, listen, predictions are meant to go right and wrong, and, and nobody knows for sure on this stuff. Pat, great, as always, content. Thanks for coming on Newswire. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I know that includes some you know, listening in on learning calls, some lawn work, and we'll catch up with you again soon. Thanks for coming on the show. <laughs> great. Thanks, as always, Craig. Talk soon.